Hello everybody, it's Amber, and I hope everybody's having a great week so far. Um, I've been super busy this week, as usual, and I've been really, really loving watching, um, you know, I come home from work and I'm just getting my comfy clothes, <laughs> have dinner with my husband, and then I love watching all the pocket letter videos on YouTube and, on, and the pictures on Facebook. And I had an idea. I made my first pocket letter the other day and I was, you know, so I was new at it and I was having a little bit of difficulty deciding what I wanted to put in the pockets. So after watching quite a few videos and things like that, I decided it's basically, it's up to you what little gifts and goodies you want to put in your pocket letters. So I am doing um, a little project here. What I'm doing is I have this plastic bag of a bunch of just embellishments that are, that are partially used. My sister and I craft a lot and she doesn't have much stuff so I let her raid my drawers and stuff in my craft room. And this is some of the stuff that I've pulled that it's, um, that's been partially used so there's, you know, like a few stickers left. Some of it's new but it's so like this, you know, it's got like a few flowers left and some bling and stickers and just embellishments. So I'm going to go through these bags and I'm going to make little pocket letter goodie packs. So that way I have them on hand so I can stick them in, you know, different pockets in, when I send out my pocket letters. So I have these cute little, let me move these out of the way, cute little plastic adhesive bags and they are two inch by three inch self sealing bags. So when you fold them down they become really small and you can fit little goodies in here so let me show you what they are I got these in the jewelry section at Walmart you get 13 for I think two dollars you can also find these on Etsy and stuff but they're these little cute I don't know if you can make that out um, they're clear so but they have this adhesive strip and you can make little goodie packs you can put sequins in here you can put bling and if you put sequins or something that you know would fall out, you can always put paper over it, kind of like this, fold it over, and staple it to make it cute. So these are a lot of fun to use for the pocket letters. And I'm going to go through these bags, like I said, and kind of make some pocket letter goodie bags so I have them ready and on hand. I'll be back to show you kind of the process of how I'm working on it. So I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, so I went through those bags and I got a bunch of stuff kind of prepped. So as you can see, let me try to widen out. I've got little categories here and I'm just going to start putting together little packets. So I've got the bling over here, kind of the hard embellishments here that I've got grouped. Paper stickers here that I've, um, these are like the hard stickers. These are the, the paper stickers here that I've kind of cut down and downsized. And then over here is a giant pile of flowers. Up here is some Christmas stuff. So I'm just going to start putting together little packets. Um, see how it goes. It doesn't have to be any certain way. I'm just going to start throwing together what fits in these little bags. <laughs> I wasn't able to fit many flowers in those little bags, but these will fit perfectly into your pocket letters. So you can just put them in there loose. And so I have this box right here that was made for me by Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. She's the Scrappy Bookworm one. And I'm going to utilize this box to put in um, the rest of the stuff that I have prepped. So I can just grab from this box when I'm making a pocket letter. And so this is kind of like my go-to box to decorate and fill my pocket letters with. So um, the prep time is what take, took me the longest and now that I have it all ready, I can just always go to this box and pull out from here and I know it's the right size and it's ready to go. So as soon as I get this box filled up with all the rest of the stuff, um, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you the, the um, little packets that we just made. <music> go over the ones that we did. So I only had a few bags left and I'm going to go to Walmart and pick up some more of these bags. But I did some cute little packages. So now I can just peel off the adhesive. See if I can, there we go. And seal these up. So it makes like your own little gift pack. So here's this one. I threw some of those enamel dots in here. And I just did a mix of stickers and bling and flowers. So all these now I'm going to stick in my little box here. They're all ready to go and so when I do a pocket letter I can just grab and put these in there. Um, so you can actually do themed ones. You can do like a bunch of vintage packets with like buttons and gears and Tim Holtz embellishments and things like that. This one's got bling and stickers. Um, you can do you know Chris more Christmas ones. I did one Christmas one here. I had some Christmas stuff that's ready for a Christmas pocket letter. But you can do this on anything. So if you do like a tea themed one, you can get all your, you know, tea stamps out and do some stamped tags and stick them in one of these. Um, you can do a button bag, a ticket bag. Just prep and get ready for, you know, all your future pocket letters and it'll make it so much easier and so much more fun to create your pocket letters because you've got all the prep work done. So like I said, we've done a few here tonight and I'm so glad I used a bunch of that stuff that my sister and I um, have been trying to get through. And we've made all these little cute packets for our pocket letters. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm new to pocket letters um, like some of you are. So I think they're so much fun and I can't wait to swap with some of you in the future. Thanks again for watching everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye.